On most of these islands, you'll find a rookery of penguins. Antarctica is truly the land of the penguins, with 17 different species here. Look, there's one of the most common ones. This is the Adelie penguin, and he's easy to tell apart from the other types of penguins because he always looks like he's wearing a tuxedo suit and ready for a night on the town. The Gentoo penguin is slightly larger. They have bright red-orange bills and a white patch behind their eyes. You might have trouble finding our next penguin friend. The emperor penguins are found in Antarctica, though rarely seen. Distinguished by the yellow coloring behind their ears and on their upper breast. And the chin straps, well, I think the name says it all. Penguins are often seen atop islands and beaches, waddling around comically. Ready, set, go. These Adelie penguins rush the water and it's a race to the finish line. It's too dangerous for penguins to dive alone, so they always try to use the buddy system. When in pairs, it's easier to distract predators who might be looking for a snack. Although penguins are technically birds, they certainly can't use their little wings to fly, as much as they wish they could. Instead, penguins use their wings as flippers, gliding fast and gracefully through the freezing ocean waters. With these underwater wings, penguins can swim as fast as 12 miles an hour. Did you know that as penguins travel underwater, they hold their breath? So every few feet, they leap out of the water to grab a breath of fresh air. This action is called porpoising, named after, you guessed it, the porpoise. Aside from a few fun acrobatics, penguins are primarily hunting for food when they venture into the freezing waters. Penguins can dive as deep as 230 feet in about half a minute. After filling their bellies with fish, krill, and squid, they quickly spring out of the deep waters and onto the safety of dry land. If they stay in the water too long, they just might become food for someone else. Not to mention, it's cold in there. On land, penguins are much clumsier than they are in the water, waddling across the rugged terrain. Penguins are pretty good at sliding downhill too, using their back tails like snowshoes on steep inclines. Emperor penguins like using their bellies as a toboggan to go down hillsides or slide across flat stretches of land. Looks like fun, huh? The slick ice makes it easy for them to paddle along quickly. Without maps, don't you wonder how they're able to keep from getting lost out here in the Great White? Hmm, was that a right or a left back there? Penguins have one mission, to make it back to camp with their bellies full of food to where their little chicks are hungry and waiting. 